Okay, I'm back again at the uh, 2006 Red Mini Cooper R52 S model. Uh, parked in a different spot. I don't have the key, so I can't move it. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult recover or uh, repair for me. I've got a big curb right here and a vehicle parked really close next to me. But like always, I do things a little different. I'll get it done. Today, I'm gonna be changing those strut bearings that um, that I had saw the last time. That was one that was really torn. I'll get that one first and then I'll get the, the driver's side because they need to be the same age. Anyway, today's uh, fortune is, today it's up to you to create the peacefulness that you long for. So it's up to you to create the peacefulness. And I always say you control your own emotions. So you can have a lot of things going on around you. People cut you off in traffic, flip you to bird, whatever. You control what's inside. So anyway, all right. Like I said, this is a busy parking lot. Um, I'm gonna, I couldn't even park close. I'm like half a parking lot away. I'm gonna go grab all my tools. She left the car unlocked, but I don't have the key because I told her I didn't need it. And um, yeah, so I'll get it done. Okay, uh, she doesn't get out of class until 1230. It's 11 o'clock now. I plan on having this done by 1230, one o'clock. So first thing I'm gonna do, pull off the hubcaps on both sides, loosen up the lug nuts on both sides. Then I'll jack it up, put it on uh, uh, jack stands and remove the wheels.
Okay, there's good news here and then there's not so good news. Uh, the good news is I was able to repair the one that was broken, uh, the, the strut bearing that was torn on the uh, passenger side of this car. However, I was not able to get the sway bar end links off on the driver's side. Now the driver's side strut bearing is, is still in good shape. Um, there's no cracks whatsoever, no tears. So it'll be fine. Um, what I'll do is I'll leave that new one in the car. And I just didn't bring enough firepower, enough impact gun um, to really get it and uh, or enough leverage. And I'm not working in the greatest conditions right here. However, even if I were elsewhere, the only other thing I could have done was take the uh, tie rod in loose. And that's always a slippery slope when you when you start taking other things a part just to get to the part you need so but uh and and like i said there's nothing wrong with this strut tower um, um bearing so uh if she were to go get an inspection here in the state of virginia both of those would pass no problems so i'm gonna just leave it like that i'm gonna put this car back together and uh like i said i'll leave the other part with them and they can decide if they want to change it or just have it on the side for uh later um yeah so that's it so i'm gonna close this one out here uh i want to thank y'all for watching um there's a few people that commented about you know helping someone out again i'm not charging them for this i'm, I'm doing it because one it's rescuing a mini right that's what i do so <clears throat> thank y'all for watching and uh yeah oh and i came in my other i i the original mini we got is a 2004 Cooper S and uh, uh, the first, uh, oh boy, 12 years ago, I, I found a post. I went and visited my mom in Texas. Uh, I surprised her for her birthday. She's since passed away. But uh, the car went over 250,000 miles during that trip. That was 12 years ago. And in those 12 years since, I've only driven that car 30,000 miles, which is an average of like 200, 210 miles a month uh, for the past 12 years. That's unacceptable. However, you guys know we've got three other minis and the Subaru, which has is a 14 Subaru, and it has uh, more miles than this mini does because that's the car we use for our road trips and whatnot. Anyway, so I just realized that, and and I was I was hurt, but you know she still we got to get her up to 300 plus. So we'll, we'll see what we can do about that. But uh, let me show you. She's over here. All right. Okay. So I'm going to leave you with that. But also on my way home, I'm going to take a different route, a little country road, um, back road kind of thing. Uh, and I'll put a time lapse at the end of this if you want to check it out. All right. If not, I'm signing off. Thank you all. And, uh, have fun with your minis, even when you can only do like a half a job, you know what I mean? <laughs> I interrupt your regularly scheduled program for the hot news flash. I couldn't let the car sit like it was. I couldn't, it, it didn't sit right with me. So I went back today and I completed the uh, driver's side, put the new strut bearing on. I went with bigger tools, a stronger impact wrench, Got it done in an hour. Everything is good. So now back to your regularly scheduled program. Enjoy the ride and enjoy your minis.